everybody, it's Fit with Deb. Welcome to my new kitchen. We are going to make a really good smoothie today, and it's good because it's energizing, it's filled with nutrients, and it's healthy, so it's actually going to heal you from the inside out. So this is a double smoothie, so I'm going to double everything, so if you think that I can actually drink all this, it's just happiness. Okay, so I recommend having a high quality blender. This is a Ninja. If you can go for a Vitamix, great. If you have a $12 Walmart, it is not going to work as well. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. So I'm going to start with some almond milk. I do buy the unsweetened kind. And we're going to do one cup per smoothie. Great. So there's my liquid base. I always recommend doing non-dairy milk. Any non-dairy milk that you like. Because it's breakfast time, this is not um, cereal, it's oatmeal. <laughs> so I'm going to put in a quarter cup of oats for each of us. And this is good because carbs are good, they give energy, and we try to eat these typically in the first three-fourths of the day. Don't do a lot of carbs at dinner. And then these are renewal grains. I don't know if you know these, but it's really great. It's a powdered vegetable, basically. So I'm going to put two scoops because I want those 40 botanicals all up in my smoothie. It is a distinct taste, but I'm going to fix all that. And I'm going to do my MP Pro. This is vanilla, which has no whey, no gluten, no dairy, no soy, no GMOs, no artificial flavors. Did I put one scoop or two? Is that one or two? Is that one? That was two? <laughs> <laughs> do you like how I can't do two things at once? And this is the bomb. This is what makes the uh, renewal grains not be tasted anymore. These are cherries, and cherries are awesome at killing cravings. So I typically would do these maybe later in the afternoon when you're starting to want something to fix your sweet tooth. This fixes it for you, and it honestly is going to taste like dessert. This is like God's dessert. Okay, these are little chia seeds. I found only a small pack in our grocery store because they're not hip yet. They don't know how awesome chia seeds are. So I have to find them actually in the Mexican section. If you can't find them in your store, try there. And then this is a blend of awesome. I really freeze all my produce like this. This is a 50-50 mix. You can do kale, you can do spinach, whatever. So I'm packing it in. And here's a secret ingredient that I'm going to add because it's early in the morning. What is this? This is frozen coffee. Yeah, I'm serious. So what I do is I take my leftover coffee from the day, from the coffee pot, I let it cool, pour in the ice trays, freeze it, and then we automatically have a great caffeine boost. There's no creamer and sugar in there. And then if you have any room for ice, you're going to add in that ice, and you may need extra water to blend it. The key with blending, I do about a minute on low, a minute on medium, and a minute on high because I don't want to chew my smoothie. I don't want to accidentally find a leaf in there, and this is going to taste phenomenal. So now you know how to make a really power-packed smoothie. Have a great day.